welcome to my channel and today we'll have a video where I compare my Mercedes-Benz this is a 1999 S500 WW140 S500 uh, yeah that came out wrong so uh, this has a V8 5 liter V8 pretty good engine natural aspirated smooth now I will compare it to my Lincoln Town car that all of you guys know, most of you guys know I should say, with its 4.6 V8, also a great engine and the most reliable car I would say that was ever built. Well that's a little far but one of the most reliable cars. Watch my video about it, I made a video about how reliable it is. So. Uh, a couple days ago I went on the internet on YouTube like I do all the time and I saw another video from TFL Classics with Brandon and it was him again with his uh, town car that he got in an auction and I know by now that he loves the town car and um, yeah he just has a love with those kind of cars and especially the town car is a car that he really likes and he also had a video where he talked about how reliable the uh, Panda platform cars are. So Brandon and I can't remember who he did the video with. It, it was uh, it was not one of the the two young guys. Anyways, we'll uh, I'll show you a screenshot. They were talking about the town car, how reliable it is, and um, his is an L version, so it's a little bit longer, which is good. This Mercedes here is the longer version as well, which is uh, great and I think his was the signature so not the signature limited but the signature now I noticed he was talking about the signature got some extra goodies and I thought you know what kind of goodies with all my love for the town car there weren't really goodies with the town car and I believe this is an 08 so in 08 the trim levels changed in 07 like mine you still had the uh, signature you had the signature limited and you had the top of the line model I believe that was back then the ultimate or the designer I'll put it in the uh, car not in the comments in the subtitles uh, in 08 that model top of the line model fell away and you only had the choice between the signature L or the signature limited short version short version normal version like mine so I think there's a little bit of confusion there uh, when it comes to that and a lot of the stuff that was reserved for the signature limited became standard on the normal signature L like he has it like he says it has the um, the rear seat um, uh, little mirrors that are lit up yeah that came on every L version though I have them here in the Mercedes too see they're right there uh, let's do a comparison we'll drive home now and I'll compare the two cars but since I'm driving in the Mercedes let's talk about the ride uh, which car rides smoother in my opinion to be honest it's very very close they both ride really smooth and very comfortable the Mercedes is a little bit more quiet in the cabin it's it's hard to hear but it has double paint glass at I think that's a big deal you can tell that it's a little bit more quiet in here and I think Mercedes as a luxury brand it's also cost a lot more money it's also better insulated so you hear less noise from the world outside you know so if you were driving this car here and you were a rich person you know or you were a dictator in the back seat you really had a very smooth ride and you didn't hear much from the outside you could also get curtains real curtains to close in the back for this model so then people couldn't even see you what you're doing and couldn't you could read your newspaper there um, yeah very comfortable ride uh, speaking of the back seat room it's an unfair comparison for me because my town car is not the L version and this is the long version so that's unfair but I can tell you this here has a lot uh, a lot of leg room it's it's very comfortable at the rear seats and you think you can agree when you see the rear seats they're very comfortable they're good seats uh, the seats in the town car though are a little more soft the leather is softer this was still a period of where Mercedes has had comfortable seats but 
the town car seats that's just a little more cushy and by the way all the town car seats have the same cushion there are no differences I think in Brandon's video he said you get some extra cushion with a signature that is not correct the executive or base had the same cushion but it had the leather was uh, either different or and it was different uh, it was stitched different too but the cushioning was the same so um, yeah that that's about the seats uh, another thing <clears throat> when it comes to uh, riding is the uh, 5 liter V8 in this Mercedes feels feels lighter and it feels more powerful than the town car engine so that is just how it is and it runs really smooth a little bit more refined but not much but it just accelerates better than the town car the handling is a little bit less floaty which comes because there's a German car and you could go at high speeds on German autobahns back then you still can on select sections but then most of them were open and you could go really high speeds and um, the car had to handle well and had to had had to have really good brakes so that is one reason um, it handles so well and it accelerates pretty good too uh, the leg room at the front is about the same as the town car uh, it's very comfortable and the materials will compare all that when we are back home in the garage and we have both cars parked next to each other all right we'll get there and then we'll continue yeah right I know what you think I said I would be back home but I'm not yet so I want to show you uh, on a little acceleration test here how effortless it accelerates and how quiet it is I'm going only 70 miles here this is an 80 mile highway so let's accelerate um, and I'm not gonna floor it all the way but a little bit and see how it does it's pretty quiet here we go go 85 so see it's pretty effortless and it accelerates just really good uh, pretty the engine is really good if it runs that is yeah all jokes aside uh, there's a lot of issues with Mercedes cars you know they're less reliable but the V8 that's in this one here is the engine itself is pretty reliable it's all the stuff around it that can fail well, I'm pretty lucky. Mine has no electronic issues at all. Never had a light on. So, yeah, keep fingers crossed. All right, let's head home. All right, guys, so let's compare those two cars. Like they said, is the town car better than a Mercedes Benz? This is the perfect Mercedes Benz to compare it to the town car. I mean, it's a little older because this is a 99, and this. Um, model here started in 92 i think 92 or 93 i believe 92 and the uh, town car the way it is right there was in 2003 still a good comparison so this was a way more expensive car of course you know seen as a luxury car this was also seen as a luxury car but was way more affordable back then but still not a cheap car so look let's look at the exterior first and mind the box i just drove it and look at that i drove it for an hour and i have that many bugs on it isn't that crazy all right so what do we have at the front the um Mercedes-Benz has, of course, parking lights and turn signals. It has um, HID headlights, so xenon lights, like people say over in Europe. Uh, there's the um, high beams uh, right there, and the low beams are the HIDs. And then it has fog lights, and they are a lens underneath. Can you see that? There's fogs, and the top is the, the high beams, so the, the HID. So they're all in one lens, and it features a nice little uh, uh, headlight wiper there which is great now the town car is a lot more simple first we have our turn signal our high power beams our low beams and they are just halogens but you have the option to get them as HIDs as well um, side markers and a corner light here no corner light on the Mercedes now this is plastic 
while this here is real glass. Yeah, when I take a key, you can really tell. That's real glass there, so that's good. Then we have a nice grill here on the Mercedes. It is real chrome, there's no plastic. That's real chrome, no plastic. And here the town car, a lot of chrome, but sadly that's plastic, uh, that's chrome. And that is, I have a bug on my hand there. And this is metal and it looks like gold. So um, both really, really pretty cars. I like the town car, it's my personal very, very favorite car, but I also have a soft spot for the W140 uh, Mercedes. I always had it, it's just, it's a typical Mercedes style and I really enjoy looking at it. Um, just very, very pretty. So that is just something um, about the front of both cars, uh, the way they look at, uh, they look like. So this here came standard with those chrome uh, wheels here. There's a scratch there. I don't know how that got in there. Never noticed that. And they are 17 inch uh, uh, wheels and 235 60 17 on here. And that really bugs me now because I've never seen that. Uh, this was the standard wheel on the S class back then. And it is, um, I don't like it as much. And those are 235 60 16 inch. Uh, wheel so 16 inch on the S class. I mean that that looks that sounds really small for a big car and a luxurious car like that. But that was pretty much the standard back then, you know. Now the brakes are pretty big though, and I don't know the sizes of them right now. We have on uh, the Mercedes here. We have a. Um, uh, European style fog lights on each side in here. Then of course your normal bulbs like every car has in a third brake light. The town car of course has no fog lights like most of you most American cars do not have fog lights. So that's about the exterior. Size wise the town car is the um, longer vehicle of both. Um, which one is wider? I am not sure, but I think they're about the same because the Mercedes is a pretty wide, it's a pretty wide uh, vehicle, you know. And the style, of course, is a little different. Uh, this is more typical Mercedes 80s, 80s style still, you know. And this is the newer uh, town car style after the boxier uh, town cars that existed. So let's a little have a look at the interior. How's the quality? How does it compare? First of all, one of the features that this one has is soft closed doors. There we go. That was too soft there. Town car doesn't have that. When you hear it beep, it's because the key is sticking. There you have it. And see, I didn't even use the soft close. Um, the interior in here is just uh, nice because you have real leather. Real leather trim, uh, of course, real leather seats, real leather in the door. You also have real wood. That's not fake, that's real wood. The uh, seats are adjustable, you know, front, up, down, and the headrest is also electric adjustable. And we have memory seats right there. So everything you can adjust electric and that on both, seat, on both uh, sides. Also the lumbar, you can adjust it on the side here. So, uh, pretty good stuff there. Um, plenty of wood in here. Plenty of wood. A traditional gear shifter and then your automatic uh, climate controls in uh, the middle. This was for the phone. This one doesn't have a phone, but if you had a phone, that's where you would dial. And then your uh, phone, your phone uh, receiver would be in here, there. That's where that would be hiding. And now we have a sunroof in here. Um, pretty nice materials all around and a lot of carpet. A lot of carpet, which I personally am a fan of that. So, you know, these are also real metal. You can feel it when you touch and they're cold and 
real metal. Parking brake is down there. And yeah, other than that, the Mercedes is just a um, comfortable, comfortable vehicle. It has automatic headrests. You push this button here and those two guys plop in. They fold in by themselves. You know, starts right up. And it sounds pretty good. It has no lights on either. See? Sounds pretty good. Also inside the interior, you have plenty of lights. Everything is illuminated, um, which for today's standards is normal, but back then it was something that was reserved for luxury vehicles. It has a lot of little gadgets like this button here. You can overwrite the air conditioner and have warm air come out. If you push that one, you get cool air while the heat is on. Nice little touch. You, um, that's the economy button. You have this button here, rest. If you push that, let's go, let's see. You drive in the winter, it's war, it's cold outside. You have your heat on, you go to the store, push that button and your fan will keep running for a certain amount of time and pump in that warm air that is still in the, um, in the heating system of the car. So that your car stays warm a little longer. Very, um, very good idea from Mercedes-Benz. Uh, the stereo system here is, I think it's a Bose system and it is not as good as the standard system in the town car. I don't think so. I can't turn it on right now because of copyrights, but this is your radio here. Uh, I don't think it's as good. It has a power antenna. Now, this is really nice. You know, everything is in right by your steering wheel so that you can turn, activate your turn signal. And now I can flash your um, rides at someone as a slow driver. And this is cruise control here. So you can keep your hands on the wheel the whole time. Really, really cool. And something typical European this car has that most cars don't have, or things people don't know, is parking brake lights. So you park on the road. So on the passenger side is the, the sidewalk. On the uh, driver's side is the road. And you don't want someone to hit your Mercedes. So you turn this to the left. And now let's see what it does. Close the doors. It activates the, um, the uh, parking light on the uh, driver's side at the front and also here at the back. Can you see that with the sun? Yeah, it's hard to see. Um, that's something typical European. I remember when I grew up we had a, uh, plenty of Volkswagens and they all had the same feature uh, installed as well. Um, yeah, so as for the features, the Mercedes wins. It has more features. Um, it just has more convenience features in the in the car. So let's go to the town car. Uh, very familiar in here, but very different uh, feel. So what do we have in here? First of all, the seats, like I said before, they feel a lot, a lot uh, softer. They're a lot more cushy and they're very comfortable. And I really like that. The leg room is about the same, but the seats, very comfortable and just nice. Nice seats, a nice roomy cabin. I really, really enjoy it. Um, let's talk about the materials. This here, not hard plastic, soft plastic, soft plastic, um, hard plastic, soft plastic, hard plastic, um, hard plastic, and yeah. That's kind of theme in here. Everything is plastic, uh, plastic again, and fake wood. Now, does that bug me? No, it, it does not. It is. It it looks good, and I think the plastics, the, the quality of the plastic feels good too. But if you compare it to the Mercedes, you have to say the Mercedes has a lot more expensive materials um, in the cabin, and it feels better. Now this is not plastic, and uh, yeah, that that's good. <laughs> we also have some carpet, 
going on here there's some carpet in the doors here and of course this is carpeted but we don't have as much carpet as the mercedes and have the parking brake at the same spot right there we have a power trunk which the mercedes has as well now this is not an l version so comparing the rear seats is a little unfair we don't have real headrests here in the back which is a bummer i think they should have real real headrests uh the seat controls are uh, in the door as well and they're also illuminated turn the lights on that's hard to say but to see sorry uh but they are a little bit illuminated and you have your up and down back and forth um settings then you have only two memory settings and of course heated seats and one thing the Mercedes has that this one does not have, you can pull the, the cushion further out if you have longer legs. And newer Mercedes still have that feature and I guess they think German people are tall or something. But it is a good feature if you have long legs. Let's say it that way. Do I need it? No, I can live without it. But is it nice to have? Yes, it is. So the seats have more, more features there and the headrests here are of course not uh not powered they're not power power headrests you could even have your rear view mirror um uh electric in the mercedes so it would be power rear view mirror nobody needs that either the seats by the way in the front and rear are heated in that car here the fronts are heated the rears are cold so your kids will have to freeze in the back when they sit there the dash is um yeah it, it's nice there's nothing special about the town car uh, dash here but it is nice it's a little more updated more modern than the mercedes but it's also newer i talked about how it drives earlier so we don't have to talk about that uh, there's a couple um features here that the mercedes does not have like the pedals adjust mercedes doesn't have that but it has all the adjustments for the steering wheel as well and it has more lights and gauges and I, overall it has more buttons than the town car um so who wins for me when it comes to comfort and and feel in the cabin i would say the town car but only by a tiny bit and i think it is only because i just feel like this is just a very comfortable place and i think the seats are a big deal and um and just cut that the seats combined with the roominess is a big deal what i'm missing are the better the, the better quality of the cabin i really miss that and if you like black seats of course the mercedes wins but that's a personal a personal preference same as the um the moonroof here or the sunroof whatever you call it uh is a personal preference too i don't like it so i'm glad that this one doesn't have one that one has some issues uh the the, the cover for it is a little stuck so the whole the whole sunroof doesn't open see there you go they have the problems already um no good there i forgot the key inside so we're not gonna turn this vehicle on so let's go look at the trunk and see who has the best trunk as you can see the town car has plenty of room here look at that plenty of room there's a spare tire behind uh, look how deep that goes now this here does not pull up but it goes really deep and you have a little cubby right right here so that's the town car uh trunk um, pretty pretty good place and yeah it's powered of course like i showed you before let's close it again let's see how the mercedes trunk works I'll show you how it works because I know how it how it works so here door nothing just the speakers so let's go in here let's see here we have a button that shows the trunk push on it there we go it pops up automatic too and you can see it's a lot shorter and it's a lot more stubby and what we see here it is less steep than the town car it looks like it's just as white 
and it looks like it's pretty deep but there's a cover here let's look at that it should be more prepared yes it is because there is a spare tire underneath and of course the uh, toolbox for the mercedes now the uh town car doesn't have all that but that's okay and of course mercedes is well engineered so this latch here you put that up and you hang it right in here yeah, with one hand everything is coming no. you hang it right in there and then this stays up for you that's a really good idea there is your spare tire and look how deep that trunk is so if they had the spare tire on the side the trunk would be as deep as the one of the town car and there's the battery it's right in there so it is a pretty deep trunk as well so still the winner is the town car it just has the uh deeper trunk in my opinion and this one here is powered but it won't shut by itself it has a nice little handle here you push it down watch handle goes in and it's soft close as well there you go you, you, you hear it how it uh how it shut yeah here's the rear seat heated there's an ashtray there you go ashtray and of course you have your your little um, mirrors right there and if you turn the car on the lights will turn on as well so um very roomy place here in the back of the mercedes pretty big door too and again that's a carpet everything's carpeted and the system here has the speakers are yeah, they're underneath there and there's the first aid kit as well which the um town car doesn't have a first aid kit does not have a first aid kit and that's a german thing too having a first aid kit in the vehicle uh, you have to have that so they put them in which is good okay here's the town car and you can see ashtray as well power windows no heated seats and this it feels like it's metal but it doesn't feel as good as the one the mercedes but it's metal so and see there's a lot less leg room right here and of course no mirrors but this is not the l version so it's an unfair comparison really unfair comparison so i won't go there okay how does the doors sound when you shut them these sound a little more quiet than these but both sound like quality like it's a great um, safe vehicle so both do and this one has soft close so you don't have to do that if you don't want to yo there we go um that's about it um my personal favorite is still the town car i mean i like it the way it is with all of its little um flaws like not having all the luxurious uh, features that it maybe should have had in its time as a luxurious vehicle but then again it was a lot less expensive than the mercedes I will put the prices uh, when new in uh, the subtitles so you have an idea what these vehicles cost when they were new. Like I said before, this was a vehicle a lot of diplomats drove it, a lot of uh, countries had it uh, to drive um, royalty around, prime ministers around, presidents around, dictators around. I mean, the, the mobsters in Russia had them for a long time. It, it's quite the vehicle, you know. The town car. Is, is a vehicle that's always been around and it's very loved and it's the, the, the top of the line of the Panther family so there is no way around the town car when you talk about American car history so I love both I um, decided I don't need two cars that are similar so I'll have to get rid of one and I think you know which one that is but um, alright guys have a wonderful evening and I hope you like this and I hope you see you I see you soon again on my channel. Have a good day.